everyone. I'm Sarah Cody here with head coach Tom Poitras. Hartford just came off a thrilling 2-1 victory over in-state foe Quinnipiac, where Giovanni Sims, again, had the game-winning goal. Coach, I feel like we've brought up his name a lot, but he's kind of on a tear. He's had five straight games with a goal. How is he able to sustain such a scoring streak? Well, he's, he's on fire, they would say right now. Everything he touches turns to goal for us at the moment, which is great. But he's starting to get a lot of attention. He's starting to draw a little tighter marking, and, and teams are starting to be a little more physical with him. So he's having to adapt himself to getting used to that. But he's a very smart player, and he finds ways to get in the right spots at the right time. He, you know, He's not just a guy who can dribble or just dribbles by people or shoots. He gets himself in good spots. So even though people are marking him and trying to account for him, he's very smart and finds a way to get in the right places. Switching gears to the defensive side of things, we've heard the name Damian Lowe come out of your mouth several times where you've spoken of his great leadership. Wednesday night against Quinnipiac, he really controlled that back line for you. How important has his role been in the back line? Well, Damian, you know, he's a sophomore this year, so he's really stepped into a big-time leadership role. But he was coming on strong as a freshman. Unfortunately, he missed the first half of the season with a broken foot, so it took him a while to get going. But once he got going, he helped us get to the conference finals last year to the championship game. And now this year, he's just picked up right where he left off, which has been really helpful for the team. Um, he's a real stable leader back there, and he provides a lot of leadership for the rest of the young guys, which has been huge. And his his confidence uh, you know, flows through the rest of the team. He also is very demanding on his teammates and he holds them accountable, which is a big help for the coaching staff for sure. Final non-conference game of the season coming up tonight with another in-state foe, Sacred Heart, coming into Alumni Stadium. Let's take a look back at the past nine games. How have you seen your team grow since opening night at West Virginia? Oh, it's, been, it's been a huge experience for us to get those big games at like West Virginia, Penn State, Villanova and Penn, those were big games for us. Fordham was a tough game, all on the road. So it gave our guys a lot of opportunity to grow, to experience difficult environments. Uh, the crowds were somewhat tough on us at points, and the guys handled it really well. But they also were in big games, really close to the end of the game, tied 1-1 one -one or, or even ahead of the Villanova game, and, and gave up leads. So we learned a lot about how to manage the game, how to deal with the late moments in the game, and, and that's been a big help. And we know that'll carry us forward into the conference play where we have that experience to deal with tight games on the road, at home, whatever it may take, the guys will be prepared for that. As I mentioned, Sacred Heart coming in tonight. What kind of team is Sacred Heart and how do you expect the Hawks to match up against the Pioneers? Well, we saw them last year. We played them last year and their head coach uh, I played with, you know, back when I was playing quite a while ago. We won't go into when, but um, so I know Joe pretty well and his teams are always very good soccer teams. Um, they, they play good soccer, they possess the ball, they move the ball quickly. They've got a, a potential All-American in uh, their Brazilian when that plays in the back, Marcelo to number 10. So it'll be a real competitive game. It'll be a very entertaining game because it'll be good soccer. Um, they're a team that values possession, so we'll have some things to deal with that way. But we're looking forward to a different style of game than we've seen the last couple of games. Now, not to look too far ahead, but after Saturday's match, you have a complete week off before you face Boston University in Boston. This is the first time all year that you've had a week off between games. How do you plan on preparing for the Terriers? Yeah, we're looking forward to the time. We're looking forward to the fact that we have a week to prepare for, for Boston, but then you know we get some rest in there as well. We work on some of the finer points. We work maybe with some individual players, um, not just the big team stuff. We can break it down a lot more and, and focus on some of the individual players' needs, but also cover some certain areas in the, in the game that we haven't touched as much on because we've been just tr getting ready for the next game. So that'll help us a lot, have some preparation time, and also break it down for the guys a little bit more, and it'll give them a little bit of rest as well. We're looking forward to the rest for sure. You just heard from head coach Tom Poitras. Coming up next on Hartford All Access, the Hartford men's soccer team will take on the Sacred Heart Pioneers.